Prince Harry. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of focus on the celebrities, but particularly Prince Harry in all of this. He has become a little bit litigious, I guess. I mean, do we know what they're saying mm. about this, the Sussexes? Uh, well, we, we, we know what collectively these people are saying. And I must say, it's an extraordinary coalition to me of people, if I can use that rather uh, posh word about this. Uh, it, Prince Harry uh, is bound to be seen as the sort of leading figure in this, but Elton John as well, uh, his partner, his husband, David Furnish. We've got uh, Sadie Frost, the actress, Elizabeth Hurley. We've got uh, Baroness Lawrence. I have to say with Baroness Lawrence, she's the mother of Stephen Lawrence, the young black man who was murdered, you remember? That's a rather curious business because these actions, these libel actions, this huge libel action is being taken against associated newspapers, uh, publishers of the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online. And of course, that group campaigned very vigorously to get the killers of Stephen Lawrence put behind bars. So that's a rather curious uh, sort of thing about all this. But people will be focusing, as you say, on Prince Harry uh, and by extension, his wife, Meghan Markle who have uh, got a lot of um, background in suing particularly associated newspapers, mostly successfully, it has to be said. But the so many fascinating things about this. And of course, as you, we all know in the journalistic trade, you've got to tread a bit carefully here too. You can't start uh, agreeing or disagreeing. We just don't know what a lot of these allegations are really all about. They do seem to go back a very long way. There's talk that it's an echo of the phone tapping arguments that led to the closure of the, the, uh, the news of the world. Uh, th this is an extraordinary, extraordinary legal turn of events. And I tell you one thing, from the point of view of a former royal correspondent like myself, turns the spotlight straight back from all the funeral of Queen Elizabeth, the accession of King Charles III. Here we are back to Prince Harry and inevitably Meghan. It's got to be said, Associated Newspapers are vigorously denying this. They are, they are. They call it. They call it preposterous. I mean, there's a whole long list of allegations being made here. Uh, they, they range from things that you might expect to things that you don't expect. They say uh, accuse journalists of presumably journalists, writers, or somebody or other, perhaps private investigations of impersonating people, of bugging homes, of bugging cars. Uh, uh, this seems to, to the outsider somebody who most of us not really familiar with the way some of these uh, practices go on or used to go on, does sound like an extraordinary shopping list of things. Uh, if there's any grounds at all in them, this is going to open up the most enormous row. And one of the little things that I noticed here, great long list of arguments, long list of people suing, all getting together, powerful figures, people, as you said, with plenty of money, they can pursue this as much as they like. Associated Newspapers also has an awful lot of money. Um, but it really does echo what was happening to the news of the world, a real attack, an attack. Now, from the point of view of the people suing for libel, they're going to say this is exactly what we, we need to do. We've been, uh, our lives have been turned upside down and made miserable by this. On the other hand, the Associated Newspapers are going to call this an, a, a, a huge attack on the freedom of the press. Uh, it's, it's extremely difficult at the moment to, 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 to know where this is heading. Uh, but as I say, puts the spotlight straight back uh, uh, on a side and a part of the royal family and arguments going back over previous legal cases of which there have been many. Uh, uh, yes, Harry himself, nice picture you've got of him there being very cheerful. Not cheerful, really, when it comes to the media. And why? Because we go back to the days of his mother, Princess Diana, 25 years ago. And there's another major connection, two major connections there. First of all, she suffered, obviously, and everybody knows at the hands of the media, the paparazzi who possibly chased her to a terribly untimely death. But also Elton John, Elton John, the other figure, the, the major figure in this, this latest action, very, very close to Princess Diana, performed at her uh, wedding and uh, was very, extremely friendly with her. And then later years became extremely friendly with her sons, both Harry and William, of course, William not mentioned in this at all, one should be clear, but, and then became extremely friendly 
with uh, Megan. So the, I think you ran some pictures a little earlier on, very interesting pictures of Elton John and David Furnish, who we see in the, in the center there in the, in the picture, um, with Harry and Megan and Elton John putting his arms around Megan. Lovely, a lovely hugging gesture, great friends together, whispering in her ear something nice. But it does emphasize this is a this is a really big, big deal. Uh, and I have to say, in all my years in this trade, and there have been a few, I don't recall anything remotely like it.